It's Joe and Lisa with Jolie Farms in Ecuador. Welcome back to the channel. Glad you joined us. So we're here today on a beautiful day. Ah, it's so gorgeous. Blue skies. A little bit of wind, but beautiful. Yeah, really nice day. It's probably 70 degrees, 72 degrees right now. Mm. And uh, just gorgeous. Well, we're going to address uh, the question that's come up. A couple of our you know, recent videos, um, some friends of ours are moving from this area. And we have some other friends that are also moving from this area. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, we've been asked, um, gee, are you guys still feel the same way about Ecuador? Are, are your plans changing? That's true. I mean, um, this for us, this is, I don't know, I think it's like the perfect spot. Um, we feel like God brought us here and allowed us to find this beautiful home. And it provides a lot of our needs. And the climate is I don't know. If I look around the world, I haven't found anything that I would want to go to. Yeah, and I think, you know, um, we're always investigating because we feel like to be diligent, you know, mm -hmm. and to do the right things, we should have a backup, a plan B always. So we're always looking for that plan B place um, that might be better or might be a place that we may need to go to uh, quickly. And so, you know, we're always looking at that. We have a friend of ours who's doing the same thing. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, he keeps coming back to these other countries and saying, man, we got the perfect spot, you know, right here in Vilcabamba. Yeah. But I think that, you know, he's continuing to look. I trust his opinion on a lot of things. And we're doing research on our own, talking to people from other countries and seeing what they think. Yeah. Sorry, dog's trying to get into my coffee. So well, that's um, the whole thing is. I mean, we're we're good where we're at right now. It, it works for us. We're small town people. We live in a small town that's growing. Um, some people aren't. They're going to be looking for something different. But if you look at everything, not just from where you are, but on a more global scale, there's, you know, stuff happening all over the world that's not fun to talk about. And, you know, there may be some countries out there that um, we should take a closer look at. Um, you know, as I've mentioned, I have a friend just moved to Madeira. Um, there's some issues with that for us. But we will be taking a look at Madeira just to see if that's an alternative plan B. If nothing else, it's a great vacation place. Yeah, and Ecuador is still our plan A, 100%. And we're still trying to get out beyond where we're at and travel around a little bit more. We keep having obstacles get in front of us, but... Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to see right here in this country. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do. We stay very busy. We have a good life here, good mm -hmm. friends, you know, both Ecuadorian and uh, expat alike. And, yeah, we want to stay right here. And while, you know, I can't imagine a scenario where we'd be forced out, right now at our age, you know, even if things went a little bit sideways here, I, I don't see us leaving because having to... Mm -hmm try to sell and uproot and go somewhere else. It's pretty hard, especially, you know, we've got a Lisa's mom is 80 mm -hmm. and uh, you start moving people when they get to that age. Uh, the result's not always good. And yeah. uh, so we we're all pretty content right here. I think this is it for us. Yeah, it it works. I mean, we're watching the weather in Texas and I'm sorry, I do not miss triple digit days. Man. It's too hot. Yeah, shout out to our son and daughter-in-law and grandson in Texas and my aunt and her husband. Ugh. I don't know how you do it, 106, 104 every single day Yeah, for a month now, I guess, at least. Uh, we don't miss it. Not that. We look at the weather in, in central Texas at 9 o'clock at night, and it's still 99 degrees. <laughs> well, you get up and go, oh, it's in the 80s today in Texas, and it's like, oh, it's a cool front. Yeah, that's it, like 7 a.m. It's 80. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so yeah, we can't see that, you know, there'd be any change on our end. Mm -mm. Yeah, it could happen. I mean, if, if family in the States really needed us, we'd be back there in a shot. Um, we don't foresee that happening, but it could. If yep. um, things, you know, became political turmoil here, we do have the elections coming up Sunday, so you'll probably see this video after the elections have happened. Mm -hmm. We'll try to give you some kind of update on that, or my goodness, you can look on the internet and find out everything you want to know about that. 
Yeah, I'm kind of excited to see where it's all going to land and uh, how removing everybody from their little Congress, the assembly, is going to turn out and, and what that's going to do to the country. And um, hopefully it doesn't follow Western ideals, but you never know. You never know. And we are allowed to vote, by the way. We are uh, permanent residents here, so we, we are allowed to vote in the process. Um, in the past, when we first came here, uh, we weren't because we were temporary residents. Mm -hmm. However, that particular election, a lot of expats went down there to vote and were denied. That's not supposed to happen. Yeah. Um, I think they had a lot of light shown on that, and so they probably won't make that mistake again. Mm -hmm. uh, let's hope. Um, you know, I find that a little bit, um, if I were an Ecuadorian, I wouldn't like that. I, I think you should be a citizen to vote. Um, we have always thought that. And uh, when we first came, we didn't really ever consider truly becoming citizens because we didn't see the value in it. But now I'm looking forward to working towards citizenship and making that change. And we'd be dual citizens with U.S. and here. But, uh, and I had a friend that just passed her test. Yay, Janice. Yay. So uh, we'll... Uh, We'll continue. Uh, we evolve as the country evolves and we look at things differently as the world changes and take it day to day. And, you know, in the past, the U.S. has always allowed dual citizenship. Mm -hmm. um, there's some talk right now that they'd like to eliminate that and not allow you to have dual citizenship. We'll see. We'll cross that bridge when the time comes. Yeah. Um, hey, a little update, too, on the banking. Uh, you know, in our video with Santiago, he and I talked about the Ecuador banking system, and we told you that you could take a check from your U.S. bank and that you could deposit it in your Ecuadorian bank account or your credit union account. So they just passed a new FACTA law. This is brand new. It just popped up on my news feed this week that um, they'll no longer be allowed to accept those deposits in the credit unions. So your option would be to deposit it into your regular banking account in Ecuador, in an Ecuador bank, and then make a transfer to your uh, credit union account. Yeah. So that's the workaround. My understanding is Cockpay is working on trying to get that changed. Uh, Cockpay doesn't appreciate it. They, they like, um, you know, us being able to make a direct deposit right yeah. into their credit union. And I don't know why this has happened. I have my my own little get get out the tinfoil hat. Yeah, well, we don't we don't think it's an Ecuador thing. We think it's um, because we're on the U.S. dollar. So yeah, and the U.S. I think, you know, again putting on the tinfoil hat, the U.S. is trying to stop people from taking money out of the bank, mm -hmm. um, and when, out of the country, and out of the country, and yeah. so that may be part of it, and a way for them to kind of slow the funnel down, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Our last visit to Texas, walked in our bank, went to withdraw some money, and they were very apologetic, but we are forced to ask you what you're using the money for. Yeah. And so, you know, that made me kind of upset. It's none of your business. I'm going to take it outside and light it on fire yeah, if I want to. Uh, that's my money. And so um, I understand the girls at the bank were just doing their job, and I don't hold it against them, but it's new rules being forced on banks. Yeah. And under the pretense of protecting us, we want to mm. make sure you haven't, uh, you know, been a victim of a scam. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or that you use your money appropriately. But that's, you know, we still look at the U.S., we watch the U.S., we still have investment in the U.S., and we have family in the U.S., so we keep an eye on it. But I will say with the world, the way it changes, you know, we only watch what we have to watch and let the rest go. So we've been watching the the wildfires in Cal and uh, excuse me in Hawaii. Oh wow! Yeah. And um, it's tragic. We feel for those people. Mm. Floods in uh, uh, Maine and um, China. China, my goodness! Oh my I don't gosh. know if you've been watching it, but China, forty villages wiped out completely by floods. A lot of a lot of deaths. The, the communist government there is not necessarily reporting that but the new segments that we're watching on youtube which is is limited as it is yeah they're reporting a lot of deaths a lot of people missing mm -hmm. and um 
half a billion people out of work in China. Well, and these aren't natural disasters either. These are man-made disasters. Yeah, a lot of it's, you know, along with the regular rains that they received, torrential rains, mm. they opened up some dams on purpose and they've done some things to really hurt people. And the big thing in China too is that most of the crops have been wiped out from the farmers. Yep. There's going to be some issues feeding that many people over there. This is true. But so, that's, again, that's, you still have to look at everything. That's happening everywhere. It's happening in the U.S. It's happening in Canada. Not, not hitting that level of news, but it's not looking pretty around the world. So, you know, I think a lot of people probably misunderstand. We do get news here. Oh, yeah. Um, we choose not to watch the mainstream news um, yeah. because we don't feel like that's truthful almost ever. Um, but we do uh, watch a lot of uh, different uh, alternative news programs and mm. on the ground reporting by individuals. Yeah. And I think that's where we get our most truthful news really is people with cell phone cameras who yeah. are on the spots filming it and, and showing people what's going on. I think so. It's um, more believable when it's coming from people on the ground. Definitely. Well, yeah, so no, we haven't changed. We're still 100% on board for Ecuador. We love this country. Um, uh, we do reserve the right to change our minds. Um, yeah. But I think that, you know, right now, we, I, there's nothing we can foresee, uh, at least for the next short period, that yeah. might change our minds about that. No, the, I think the only thing we would do is travel more in Ecuador. Mm-hmm. And uh, time permitting and event permitting, that's what we, that's what our plans are. You won't find us going to the coast right now. I think it's too dangerous over there. That's not somewhere we would go. Um, but there are other areas in Ecuador we would go. Yeah. So, um, yeah, update on the puppy. She is doing great. Oh, um, wow. She has settled right in. Yeah, she's found her lane. She's the queen. She is the queen. And yep. uh, Lacey is... Uh, now having good good fun with her. At first, Lacey didn't want anything to do with her. Yeah. A little concerning for us. Yeah, but now they play nonstop, pretty much. Yeah, play, play, play. Play, sleep, and eat. We're still waffling on the name. Thanks to everyone for yes. submitting your names. We appreciate it, even the really silly ones. Yeah. Gave us a lot to think about. Absolutely. And uh, I'm still partial to poop head, but <laughs> Lisa won't let me do that. Um, so yeah, I don't know her, you know, her name that they told us was Osa or, uh, you know, female bear mm -hmm. and she really is a bear. I'll tell you, man, she's a bear. She is. It's everything that comes back. It's like, we'll be doing something and she's going, oh my gosh, she's such a bear. And she'll, you know, attack the water. She's such a water dog. Loves to play in the water. Mm -hmm. We've decided that we're going to give it a couple more days, but Osa may be it. We'll let you know for sure. Yep. Yeah. That something comes through that just really floats our boat. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I think that's all we have for the update. Yes, this is still our number one priority right here in Ecuador. Yeah. Um, we could change. We'll let you know as that does come up. We think we want to do something different. We'll uh, certainly let everybody know. Of course, we'll let you know friends and family know first. Yep. And uh, family first, and then friends, and you're part of our friends. So that's right. All right. Thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Ciao for now.